Now, if somebody asked you to design a vehicle that could land on the moon, and then a rover that would travel 500 meters on the moon's surface and send back images, you'd probably see stars. I know I would. But an audacious team of young Indians calling themselves Team Indus is hoping to do just that. They have a tight deadline. They don't have government backing and funding. This is a private competition. But they're quite sure that they can reach for the moon. Now, this sounds crazy. I mean, you're a private bunch of individuals and you want to get something to go to the moon. What's it all about? Uh, this is a competition. It's called as the Google Lunar X Prize. Our team is called Team Indus. Uh, we're a bunch of guys who saw this as a childhood dream and we've been building on that, right? Uh, so the last couple of years have been about trying to design this. We just got our first prototype ready. That's what you'll be seeing today. And uh, it has been an exciting journey. So you've been working on this for years now already? Oh, absolutely. All right. Okay, great. Now, tell us more about this prize. Who's can take part in the... So there are 30, this, they started with 30 yes, teams, yes. now we have 18 teams in the competition. Okay. Uh, there'll be an official announcement tomorrow that we are in the top three. Effectively, what that would mean is that we are in the top three in the world right now. Wow, okay. And uh, the reason why we started this is because we said there has to be an Indian team in this. You know, uh, it was announced in 2007. Yes. We waited till 2000, uh, 2010, December 31st. Okay. We were, you know, we were in uh, Dalhousie at the time. It was okay. snowing outside, we were in good spirits, <laughs> and we said we have to do this. You know, there's nobody from <laughs> India, we have to do this. Okay. We'll figure out later how to, you know, how to, uh, you know, do the uh, uh, entire yes, mission. Yes, but yes. we registered, and here we are. You know, so we're like the Mohan Bagan of India in a Champions League football. You know, so we are against the Bayern Munichs, the Man Uniteds, the Chelsea's, and the Arsenal's, and we are up there. You know, so the you know, top three, one of the top three teams in the world, and you said there were 30 teams to start with. Yes narrowed down to 18, they dropped out because they couldn't get any further? Well, because Either they couldn't make enough progress or perhaps they ran out of funds because this is an expensive uh, contest, yeah, you know. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, our estimate is uh, for us it'll probably cost about 35 or 40 million dollars. Okay. But for the Americans or the Europeans, I think it's over 100 million dollars. Wow, so, wow. so that is very expensive. Okay, and the 35 million dollar question, where is the money coming from for you right we'll now? We'll figure that out. Right now, <laughs> right now we're just focused on the milestone prizes for which we've shortlisted. Okay. Okay. And hopefully through you, through other media, you know, okay. people will come to help us. Uh, we obviously need volunteers, we need people okay. to work with, we need right. to raise money. So hopefully that will happen over the next, you know, 18 months or so. so I, this milestone, this prize, this kind of interim prize, if you could say that, what, what, what is this about? So uh, this is, uh, the, the organizer is trying to help the teams out. Yes. This has been around now for six years. Okay. And uh, our competition is about a level playing field. Okay. Right now, this is going to, the organizers trying to skew it in favor of the teams who are leading. So okay. that's what this was about. It was announced six months ago. We submitted our designs. Okay. We believe all other teams did. Yeah. And based on the design, our independent jury said, you're in the top three. Right? Wow. So that's what it is about. And this prize will be? So this would be about $1.25 million for oh, okay. us. Okay. Uh, we need to demonstrate how will this uh, lander actually land on the moon okay. and okay. Uh, how would you photograph the artifacts there. So for doing that uh, okay. in September this year we could potentially win 1.5 million dollars. 1.25 million dollars which will certainly help along it's certainly enough to kind of a bit yes a bit. A it bit. will help. <laughs> yes. so this, this is the baby which is uh, the 1 million dollar yes, prize yes. Okay. so this okay. is the lander which lands then this one's a rover which moves 500 meters okay. Okay. which has a camera All right. so those are the three prizes uh, the lander the rover and the imaging system what what, what are these what are these so, uh, uh, this is what is what we're calling as our lunar lander okay. it is a 2.1 meter dia structure okay. the height is about 1.5 meters okay. we got a solar panels there for power All right. These are the two tanks that are yes. coming up, which will carry the fuel. So this entire thing yes. will be what it looks like? Okay. Land there, right. and one of these areas will hold the rover, which will dismount from there and move okay. 500 meters. Okay. Wow, wow, okay, all right. And who are you guys? I mean, are you space engineers? Do you no, have this background? I'm, although I'm an aerospace engineer from IIT, okay. uh, graduated in 95, yes. then last 13 years in software. So we were in the same company for the last 10 odd years. Okay. And this, then this came up, so we said we have to do this. You know, there has to be somebody from India. There was nobody. Let's take it. And this sounded it more. Was, it was a lunatic moment. I have it to admit, was a lunatic it, moment. absolute yes, it moment was of lunacy. Lunatic. But now we take that as a compliment. <laughs> you know, earlier it was a little annoying, but uh, now we take that as a compliment. So, and uh, in fact, most of the other teams also call themselves lunatics. You know, they're small teams and, and, and just reaching for the moon really. And yeah. you decided this was more exciting than software. Absolutely. Is there a doubt? Is there a doubt? So, <laughs> and you got your team along, they volunteered, or you shanghaied them into volunteering for this? It takes uh, everything to run a startup. We see ourselves as a startup, so beg, borrow, steal, 
not lie if you need to. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you need to, right? And uh, but but we've been very fortunate, and you'll probably meet some of our team members today. Uh, Almost everybody on our team is somebody who came to us and said, "Hey, this sounds interesting. We'd like to work with you." It's driven by passion, really. Oh, Now we can see some youngsters over here with a nice shiny golden ball. What's your name? What's your background? How, how are you involved with this? Uh, myself, Monica Palladi. Mm-hmm. I'm looking after PR and outreach things here Thank in Team Indus. Uh, so we do many events. Right. Um, my main uh, task here is like. engage encourage and enable students right. into the science and technology field mm-hmm. like we came up with many events like luna rover challenge mm-hmm. and we are planning to launch new campaigns like hum honge kamyab minute yes, okay. it's a technical capsule for indians by indians okay. the technical stories which have uh, which indians don't know till now but which are part of india so generally really increasing awareness about this project and getting more excitement going i guess around this yes uh, definitely we uh, our main idea is to increase like to in- engage every indian in the country um, at least half of the population because and one more thing is uh, funding is always a challenge so we plan to do crowdfunding also for that yeah, yes yeah. for that uh, for sure we have to reach many indians uh, uh by 2015 end of 2015 yes you have a sharp deadline there what what about you what's your role here hi uh, i'm yachna mm-hmm. and i'm an aerospace engineer mm-hmm. uh in team indus i'm working in structures department okay uh, so i uh, make sure that the model that we are building yes. uh, will be able to resist all the stresses and okay. all the loads okay. so i'm working on different softwares and just verifying the design okay that it can actually stand the journey and land and actually work once it reaches the moon yeah sure How exciting is this view? Did you ever think you'd be doing this so early on in your career? Uh, no, I never thought but it is wonderful to work here uh, for such a good team and for such a good task and it's very challenging and it every day we get to learn a lot and we have to solve the problems and everything on our own so it's it's like very very it does not feel like working. <laughs> some- That's the best kind of job when it doesn't feel like work. Yeah. <laughs> What's your role here? Hi, uh, my name is Gurudeetya. Um, I'm working as uh, an avionics uh, systems engineer okay. here. So I'm working mostly on the electronics and the uh, okay. telecommunications that are basically, uh, you know, communicating back to the earth oh, and you so know, function. When it comes to sending signals back from the moon, that's your that's your baby. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's that's my task right. on this. Wow. <laughs> This must be so exciting for you. What were you doing before this? Absolutely. So uh, I've been working here for a year and a half. Okay. Uh, before this i was uh, working in tcs uh, okay. uh, here in noida so i i joined here uh, okay. aerospace is my passion your passion yeah okay. so i i uh, you know packed Fine. my bags and yeah, just joined here didn't think about it much just decided to do it <laughs> really yes really absolutely there's a team also which is actually sort of you're also very much in on the technical side right and what What's your name and what's your back? Uh, hi, I'm Udit. Uh, I'm an aerospace engineer and I am the lead structural designer for okay. Team Indus. That sounds impressive. <laughs> and what is key over here is something that's my baby, you can call it. Yes. Uh, this thing is basically designed to carry a load of 800 kg. So it, it, wow. this thing, when it's built, it would be 8 850 kg, and when it lands, it would be 350 kg. Okay. And uh, this thing is basically designed to take all the loads. Yes. Uh, be it launch loads it's going to descend on the luna surface the rover is going to deploy yes. and uh, so we've done a lot of analysis we've literally burned the midnight oil to get this done and your background what is your training i have done my aerospace engineering okay. recently passed out in 2012 so you graduated in 2012 and now in 2014 you're working on a project like yes, this did you see this in your wildest dreams never <laughs> <laughs> never Though it was a dream, but never seen it coming so soon. So soon, so soon. So fresh graduates really following their space passion, really in doing this. Now, you guys are the ones who are sort of getting involved in putting it yes, together, to making it together. What, what, what's your role? What's your name? And My name is Ravi Gunti. Uh, I'm a CEO of Smart Innovations. We are responsible for uh, the development and fabrication okay. of this lander model. Okay. The actual physical structure, physical structure of it. Okay. We are doing, and we had a lot of challenges uh, in yes. the development of this. We had very complicated joints, and uh, so we have used uh, some base plates, and okay. we have used yes. a high, uh, yes. you know, forged aluminium. Okay. Uh, this one, and uh, for the joints also, we okay. did some design modifications to okay. get these joints done. Because everything has to be a certain weight, a certain light. Okay. Yeah, we we actually uh, for this model we have used yes. aluminium. Okay. Initially, we thought we'll take L brackets and um, yes. you know L type of channels and bend them, but it didn't work. So we have taken a solid um, aluminium uh, okay. square blocks and then machined them. 
So trial and error, a lot of trial and error. Uh, not much, but uh, you know, we knew what we were doing, so we we brought up uh, close to what is required very quickly. And uh, the time fl- timeline also was very challenging for us. Very we much. Did it, uh, you have a tight we did, deadline. Uh, we did in one month's time, mostly okay. this one. All right. yeah. And and yeah, these are all co- very complex parts. Complex parts. Yeah. Uh, we machined from solid block. Yes. Uh, we have taken solid aluminum block and then machined all these items. Yes. Uh, you can see the joints are also very complex uh, joints, Absolutely. which are designed and uh, manufactured by us. Okay. And uh, everything from scratch, everything from scratch. Yes, everything is done by us okay. in-house. Uh, we really enjoyed uh, being a part of. What, what is your name? What's your background? I am basically an engineer and uh, we manufacture CNC machine parts. Basically from entity, uh, uh, it's from tooling background. Tooling. Okay, okay. We are from basically an engineer. Did you ever think that your engineering would be coming when you're talking about a vehicle going to the moon? Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> is yeah really the last uh, 30 years we are doing a lot of uh, aerospace and uh, defense okay, and uh, uh, prototypes and fabrication and we also do a lot of uh, design. So, I mean, really this is a dream becoming reality. Now, of course, we have a big player in India. ISRO. Does ISRO play a part in this in any way? They provide the launch vehicle. So, we, launch are, vehicle, yeah, so yeah. we are in discussions with them. Um, hopefully we will be able to strike an engagement very soon. Okay. We've had, we've had participation from uh, some ex-ISRO scientists okay. uh, you know, while we have been right. working on this. So hopefully we'll, we'll break on something soon. Okay. And coming back to the beginning, how do you start designing a vehicle that can land on the moon? Where does I mean, what kind of drawing board is that? <laughs> yeah, so it, it does begin with a crazy moment. But yeah, uh, having said that, the moon is relatively easy. There have been 70 missions, half of which failed. But then we had we had something to go back on. So we, we were able to access a lot of information. Because like uh, old details from NASA and all that, were they for, Were you able to share that? We were able to, you know, access that okay. information and use yes. some of that. So that's, that's historical analysis. That's okay. where you okay. begin. You don't begin with a clean state. Not, not, not that I'd have been able to do it, but anyway, I mean, what NASA could have told me what it wanted, I wouldn't have been able to do this. But so you were able to access that, and okay, yes, yeah, right. absolutely. You didn't have to reinvent the wheel. As well. Not, not okay. necessarily. So we had a starting point, but once a hacker, always a hacker. You start there, and you start hacking your way up the ladder. <laughs> I'll give you a simple, simpler spin to this. You know, just the way Virendra Sehwag and Gilchrist changed the way 50 over cricket is played. Yes, if yes, the ball yes. is there to be hit, I'm going to hit it. Absolutely. So we went back to our physics books, and we said these are the first principles. We'll start from there. Let's keep it very simple. Okay, we'll right. build from there, and that's how we've gone so far. You know. Absolutely, because when government agencies do this, you're talking about years and years and years, and you're looking at a deadline of December 2000. When we were doing our engineering, our professor used to tell us that if you can't solve a physics or a math problem in four steps, then you can't solve it. Ah. So that's the way we've looked at the, uh, at, the, at the whole problem. So hopefully, you know, uh, come December 2015, we'll be able to land on the moon and raise the tricolor and send NETV and SMS from there. Sare, jahan se achha, can I come? <laughs> sure, you can. <laughs> you're most welcome. Fantastic. So 2015? Yeah. This project looking great and you're among the top three of all the international entries. I mean, congratulations really to the entire team. I think it's fantastic achievement already and we'll be keeping our fingers crossed for you for this. You. So the team in this project, hoping that this vehicle will actually be landing on the moon December next year. They've got their fingers crossed. It's no longer just a crazy dream. This privately funded private Indian team designing something that can land on the moon next year. With Govind Murthy, Maya Sharma in Bangalore for NDTV.